So Chansey was in that little box. She was being kept as a pet. The people heard we were coming and they hid her. So we spent quite a long time walking up and down the streets. We were able to confiscate her. And basically what happens then is just 24 hour intensive care. You big girl. She's our little miracle baby. She came in physically um, very, very bad off. She had a very swollen head and she wasn't getting nutrition. And then she also, of course, emotionally was just completely traumatized. But she's an amazing little girl. And as the days went by, she really came out of her shell and really started to laugh. And she's got such a great spirit. In 2015, my husband and I came here to help a former research chimps who had been abandoned in Liberia. We did that for a couple years, but in the meantime, during those two years, we started getting chimps quite quickly once we were here. And so as we started to get more, we realized there was a much bigger problem. So we decided we really needed to rescue the chimps who were already in captivity here. And now we're already at 59 chimps. We have four groups and then they slowly kind of work up. Chancy, she's in the third group, so she's not with the oldest group, but her group is now spending half their days at the forest. So we take them in their car, which we call the school bus, and she goes to the forest with her group, which is about 13 chimps. So it's great. She's living as much of a, you know, semi-natural life as we can give her. Our goal is, of course, providing the best life we can for, for the chimps who do come into our care and giving them as much of a, a life similar to what they would have had in the wild. Ultimately, our goal is to keep wild chimps wild. We are really committed to a holistic approach, doing public awareness and also looking at strengthening laws and working on wildlife trafficking for not just chimps, but all protected species. My favorite part is seeing their personalities come out and just seeing the transformations. I think the biggest thing I've learned is, is the ability to, to be resilient they recover and again they smile and they laugh and it's just it's inspiring for all the difficulties and stress and worry that part is just so amazing